All right, let's see. Do we... Nope, I'm going to do it myself. And we are going to choose Tourist. Male, why not? All right, hello, and welcome to Let's Play NetHack. This time we're doing a Tourist. Now, Tourist is usually considered one of the hardest roles in NetHack, if not the hardest. I think a while ago, someone kind of did this thing to see the, the percentage of success with each role people were having on nethack.org. And in cases that would make an ascension streak of three or more, you know, to make sure that the person was actually probably trying to win rather than, you know, just screw around and have fun, the tourist was the lowest. That said, I'm not necessarily sure I think it's the hardest because I have more difficulty with some other roles, but maybe that's just because, um... Just because uh, I like Tourist a little more than those. Also, I'd re I recommend that since there's no music in uh, this, that you uh, put on some of your own music. For example, or like go to Pandora, go to iTunes, or whatever you use, and just put on some music. So, here we go. Let's begin. Blah, blah, blah. Here's the backstory. Let us go. Now, let's take a look at what the Tourist starts with. Let's pull up the inventory with I. We start out with some darts. You'll notice we have no melee weapon. The only armor we have is a shirt, which doesn't actually provide us with any armor class. What's the use of it? Well, we can enchant it to uh, lower our armor class, which is actually useful because uh, most of the armor we pick up we're not going to be using towards the end of the game, so it feels kind of a waste to enchant it now. But the shirt, we can take it to the end of the game. We also have a lot of food. Some scrolls for uh, scrolls of magic mapping. We've got some potions of extra healing. A camera, we can use that to scare monsters. Credit card and a magic marker. Ooh, we got a magic marker. Sometimes tourists start with those, but not always. Now, uh, let's press escape to get out of that. Now, allow me to do something quick here. See, so you just put the input the little number uh, symbol to pull up this thing, and you can put in some things such as adjust in this case. I'm going to be moving the credit card to M, because that's what is my default uh, key, for, I mean, uh, key as in on the keyboard for what I'm going to be using to unlock things. Credit cards can unlock things, but not lock things. Anyway, uh, let's get started. The little at, that's me. The F is my pet, a cat. Let's just go over quickly the um, things on the screen. The thing that says Lord Seth the Rambler, well, that's my name, and what follows that is your title, depending, which depends on your class and role. Then it lists your strength, which affects the damage you deal and how much you can carry. Dexterity, which uh, mostly affects your ability to hit enemies. Constitution, which affects your um, health gains as well as how much you can carry. Intelligence, which affects spell casting and learning spells. Wiz, um dumb, which uh, also affects those sort of things. I can't offhand remember if the primary thing for tourist is uh, intelligence or wisdom, but that's probably not going to matter until later on. Charisma, which affects how much your uh, how much uh, shops charge you. After that is neutral, our alignment. The S colon, that's our score. On the second level of those, dun D level, that's our dungeon level. The thing after the uh, dollar symbol is the amount of coins we have. Tourists actually start with some. Then our HP, the first number is our current, the second number is our total. Power, we use that for spell casting, same deal there. Armor class, AC is 10, that's the, normally the maximum you'll have, and uh, we don't real and you want to get it as low as possible. The XP is our uh, experience level, is the first number, and our experience towards the next, our total experience is the second number, which is zero right now. And the T is a turn. All right, so let's get started. You use the numerical pad to move around. For example, nine moves you um, up and to the right, like that. Eight moves you forward, and so on. So let's uh, get to exploring. All right, open that door. That's what the plus sign is. All right. A key. Okay, that's actually good, because uh, keys can lock things, and they're actually a little uh, faster, I believe, about unlocking things in the credit card. So we're just going to move that to M, because that's what we're going to be using. 
Now the F, as I mentioned, is our pet uh, cat. You might notice it disappeared. That's because this is a dark corridor and we can't really see um, in it. Okay, this is, seems to be a dead end. But is it? Well, let's find out. If you press S a few times, S, still pressing it, you can tell the fact I'm uh, doing something because uh, the turn in at the bottom is still going up. Okay, guess there's nothing. But sometimes these things do have uh, a hidden um, square. All right, so let's open this up. It's locked, let's unlock it. That zero is a boulder. Uh, guess we can't push any further. That means there's nothing there, or there's something blocking it. All right. I'll just, uh, pressing S is a great way to let time pass by in this game. That gave me my, my pet a chance to catch up to me. All right, let's search again here. There must be something here. There you go, see? We found a, a hidden square. And again, it seems like a dead end, so let's try searching. Search. There we go. You have, you have, might have to do it multiple times because you've only got a chance of finding it each time. All right, let's uh, search some more. Wow, this is like one of the most I've had to search on dungeon level one. I can't believe we haven't even encountered any monsters yet. Search. There we go. Oh, there's a rat. Oh, didn't mean to kill it. Meant to let the pet do it. But that's okay. Alright, or the O is an orc. I'm gonna get out of here let my uh oh sorry, goblin, not orc. But it's um I'm gonna let my kitten do it because we really just pressing search to let time go by. I'm doing this in order uh to get it experience, because we don't really get it much experience from these introductory enemies, whereas our pet um gets more benefit out of it. Iron skull cap, alright. Now that's an armor, which would be great for lowering our armor class. But don't wear armor unless you know it's not cursed, because cursed armor you can't take off. So let's see if our pet will step on it. Um, magic mapping? Oh, okay. Uh, this pet is not stepping on it. That usually indicates it's cursed, because they will not step on items that are cursed. Or, well, they rarely will. If they do, it says they move only reluctantly. Oh, I didn't uh, mention to uh, use uh, the um, key, you press A for apply, and then you choose what it is. Okay, grid bub. Yeah, we are totally letting our to do that, because those things are pathetically easy and give, like, no experience. It's best to let your pets do it, especially when you're something like a tourist, which is not a uh, noisy in the distance means that it's uh, your, there's fighting going on, your pet and something else. I wonder what it, do I know what it was? Maybe it didn't leave a corpse, or it ate the corpse. Search, 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 search. Hmm, not finding anything. Okay, K means cobalt. I'm gonna let the kitten do it again. Now, I should probably talk a little about attacking as a tourist. Normally, you attack enemies by just moving, trying to move onto their square. That attacks them with your melee weapon, or in this case, our bare hands. Again, looking at the inventory, we use darts, though. What you do is you fire those. You press F and then the direction. Well, actually, to be specific, T will throw something. Well, you can have something in your quiver, which you uh, do by... um. Uh, capital Q, and then you can choose something. It just makes it faster, so you just press F and the direction instead of T, and then what you want to throw, and then the direction. Okay. Alright. Come on, kitty. You have a chance of uh, having a little dog also. I don't think there's really much of a difference between the two. Alright, 
Now that, uh, colon, that's a, uh, newt, or some kind of lizard. By the way, I should probably mention something. If you want to know information about something, do question mark, choose D, choose yes, then just move the cursor onto it, and press, uh, period. So that will let you know. You can also get more info. Most of this stuff usually isn't really that useful. Okay, so newt, let's let... The there we go, and it's dead. Let's look, go down. Okay. We found some stuff here. We got... Okay, cobalt corpse. They're poisonous, so we don't want to eat them until we got poison resistance. Dwarvish mithril coat. Oh, that is a find. Come on. Step on it. Ugh. Oh, wait, it did. Okay. Now let's wear and watch what it does to our armor class. That was quite a deduction, wasn't it? Yeah, Dwarvish Mithril Coats are really great armor early on, because they're actually fairly light, at least compared to the other body armor, while having a great armor class. They're not the best in the game, that would be Dragon Scale Mail, but for now, this is about, this is one of the best things we could have found in terms of armor. Alright. Now I'm going to go back up a little because we left this unexplored. I went down because sometimes you might find trapdoors which will throw you down uh, a few levels. And if it sends you down one, it's good to know where the staircase is. Okay, unlock. Well, that's a lot of enemies. Hmm. Trying to decide if I should... I'll let the pet do it. Like I said, these guys just do not give you experience. Um, where'd the pet go? Come on. One technique to do is to block your pet, um, if you wanted to fight the enemy, is to put the, the, your pet between it and the enemy. Since your pet won't move on to your square, it will then be attacking the enemy. Okay. Let's see. Ah, I can't see where it went. I guess um, I'll kill this guy with the darts. There we go. Yeah, the darts, you can throw at them and pick them up. Sometimes they'll be destroyed, but the higher the enchantment, in this case a plus two, which by the way means they deal more damage and are more likely to hit, makes them less likely to do that. Um, wait, where'd the pet go? Hmm. Okay, I guess I'll have to kill that. Now, the Lichen or Lichen, one of these days I'm actually going to have to look up and remember the pronunciation. They're actually fairly harmless, outside of really just sometimes using this sticking attack so you can't move. Okay, a large box. Now, we can try to open it, but sometimes these have traps. So first, let's try to un sorry, untrap it. Now, to do it on something that's the same square as you, you press the... Um, less than a key, the one that, you know, that's a shift uh, period. Yes. Okay. Now, it's not guaranteed to have it correct, so let's do this several times to make sure. Because sometimes these traps, especially for a low-level character like us, can be dangerous. All right, let's loot. Yes. Okay, nothing that special. Now, I don't like to drink these potions until we know what they are, because they can have some bad effects. It's best to wait until you can identify uh, them before quaffing them. Hmm. Like, like, see how weak these are? These guys can, like, barely deal any damage. Sometimes they don't deal any. Just let your pet take care of them. All right. Now, let's go on. Now, yeah, that was a cobalt corpse. Okay. Okay, let's keep searching around. Let's do a little searching. There we go. See see how before we could only move there, but now we found this one with the searching. Okay, let's go down again. Let's go back up. Note that more dangerous um, enemies await you in lower levels, as you probably guessed. Basically, each enemy has a, a difficulty assigned to it. 
and enemies who have a higher difficulty than the average of your experience level and the dungeon level will not be generated. Okay, let's uh, eat this. Sometimes those can increase your power, not in this case. Conversely, enemies with too low a difficulty uh, won't be generated. I can't remember exactly what the formula is, and it's not really as important, but that's just something to remember, I guess. Okay. Now this, that thing, that's a statue, or a figurine. Oh, what kind of trap was that? Okay. Oh, zombie, ah, those guys can actually hit for some damage, as you might have noticed. Okay. Yeah, let's uh, quaff this. Here's a nice thing. If you, this would restore you to full health, these things, it will actually increase your maximum health. Watch what happens when I quaff it. See? It went up. So that's uh, pretty useful. Okay, now we're hungry. Hang on, just control P to see past messages. Okay, just uh, hungry. So let's eat with E. Um, let's see. Let's just eat a... Uh, that, okay. Search. Guess there's nothing there. What was that? Ah, uh, okay, just some noises in the distance. Oh, okay. There we go. Kind of hope we'd like to find a weapon, although, here's the thing. Um, I'm going to show you something. Pull this up and look at Enhance. These are our weapon skills. Specifically, it shows the ones we can gain ranks in. To do that, you have to actually use the weapon and hit with it. Here's the catch. When it's unskilled, you have a pretty big penalty to being able to hit with it. So, usually, you're not going to be able to hit with uh, weapons you're unskilled in until you've gained a few levels. Luckily, uh, let's looking back at that, we have... A uh, basic level of skills with dart. All the classes, if you start out with a weapon, you will have a basic level of skill with it. Oh, just walked right into it and killed it. Okay. I'll let the uh, kitten eat that. You know, keep, because they need to eat also. And we've got plenty of food. Okay. Alright, nothing there. Search. Okay. Search, search. Okay. Okay, graffiti. These are rumors. Sometimes they're true and sometimes they're not. Although they're um always like kind of semi obscured. Say that a shimmering cold shield is not a polished silver shield. Well, I don't even know what a sh shimmering cold shield is to begin with, so probably not. I don't think that exists. That's probably one of those ones that doesn't mean anything. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah, see, we've killed several things and haven't gained any levels. That's because these guys don't give you much uh, experience at all. Okay. Okay, so let's... Alright, here's a um, tip for fast uh, traversing. Uh, choose the underscore... Now we can now we can move it around by you know just the same way as we can move this cursor around but you can more quickly choose the upstairs or downstairs by just inputting that symbol like this voila press period and well it stops you if something gets in your way so let's get that out of the way and try again it also stops you if you ever find any closed doors which is often kind of annoying so let's just open that quick there we go Search, search, go down. 
All right, let's take a look. Bubbling water, I think that means there's a fountain on this level. Not terribly relevant for us at the moment. Okay, there we go. Level two, our health went up, our power went up. The power isn't really of much relevance because we're not going to be using um any... We're not going to be casting any spells anytime soon as a tourist, but it's still nice to know. I mean, it's still nice to have happen. Uh, where's the pet? Okay. Oh, we fell in a pit? Okay. Let's get out of there. Okay, eat Newt Corpse. You feel a mild buzz. You'll see our power went up by one. That's what it means. Okay, grid bug. I don't care. Now let's eat. By the way, tripe rations, rations, whatever. They'll, um, those will actually make you a little sick if you eat them. They're better used to uh, tame pets. Alright, food. Where's my pet? I wanted to kill it. Alright. Search, search. I, can, I don't mind if the, the grid bug isn't going to hurt me much. Okay. One sec. Okay, so where were we? Search. By the way, I don't know if you can hear the sort of water in the background. Yeah, I'm kind of doing this um, uh, close to a, a washing room, mostly because the basement is the quietest part of the house, but unfortunately it's also where that is, so... I don't know I don't know if you can hear it at all. If you can't if you could it seems to stop now. Um in case you were just wondering what that noise was. Okay, search, come on. Okay. Oh, oops, oh crud, oops. I, I didn't notice the kitten was in there. Ow, okay, that's not good. All right, that's, whoa. If you attack your pet, it'll lose a little tameness, and of course it'll take some damage. You really don't want to kill your pet because there's some pretty big penalties for that. I think you get a rather nasty luck penalty. Luck is sort of a hidden stat. Ah, this is the uh, Gnomish Mines. Um, we're going, it's sort of a dungeon branch. Uh, we're going to go back up. I'm not confident we're going to be ready for it yet. I'm going to wait until we're a little higher level. Ironically, that's where you're most likely to find a dwarvish uh, mithril coat, but we already found it. Oh, zombie. Um, let's see. Okay. Oh yeah, the kitten picked it up. That's nice, but that means now I can't get it. Okay, it dropped it. Sometimes they'll pick stuff up and kind of drop them. No, wait, that goes up. Let's uh, go down. Alright, so... Alright, let's see what now... Yeah, see, we can just kill that. I think once we get to maybe level 3 or 4, I might be a little more uh, secure about trying out the mines. Uh, which one? Which kind is that? I always forget this. Yellow mold, okay. Best to take them out from a distance because I believe they uh, hit you with uh, something that sort of stuns you when you attack them. You don't want to eat their corpses either because they not only are poisonous, they will also make you hallucinate. When you're hallucinating, it means... Um, you cannot trust girls rumor. No, I don't I don't think so. Those that's a false one. Uh the fortune cookies can give you true fortunes or fake fortunes. 
The true one, uh, a blessed one will always give you a true one. Cursed one will always give you a false one. And an uncursed one will, um, uh, could do either. Pretty sure that's a false one. And again, some of the true ones are, are so amazingly cryptic, they're not really that useful. Eat. Oh, just a quick note. If you press asterisk on this, it'll show you everything. If you show question mark, it'll just show you the ones you would typically be doing with that uh, command. In this case, eating. So it just shows the uh, um, food. Let's eat. Um, yeah, let's just eat that. All right, what now? Okay. All right, what's this? Splint mail. That's not as good as um, dwarves mithril coat. There actually are a few uh things that will have a that decrease your armor class by more, but they're all really heavy. Except for the dragon scale mail, which we aren't going to be getting for a while probably. The way you get that is either um a dragon will you you encounter a dragon and the dragon. Uh, will sometimes leave scale mail. If you put that on and read a scroll of enchant armor, it will turn into dragon scale mail. Which is very light, very uh, high armor class, and also will um, convey uh, different sort of bonus things based on what color it is. For example, gray gives magic resistance, silver gives uh, reflection. Those are the big ones. Black gives disintegration resistance, and so on. But the big ones are the gray and the silver. But again, that's getting kind of ahead of ourselves. Okay, I think we've kind of just, uh, searched everything. Let's go down a little more. What's that again? Okay, yeah, the yellow mold. By the way, here's a tip. If you don't uh, remember what all the corpses do, you can pay attention to what your pets eat. If uh, the things, except for um, bat corpses, which will stun you and your pets won't have a problem with, uh, usually, if they'll eat it, it's safe for you. Acid blob, okay. We'll just let that kill it. Alright. Might as well pick it up. The main thing, useful thing about acid blob corpses is this. There are um, altars you can sacrifice corpses at, and... And uh, normally, after I think 50 turns, uh, corpses can't be sacrificed, except for acid blob corpses, which can be sacrificed whenever. They do eventually decay, though. Alright, get this. Let's look down. Alright, this seems like a decent uh, time to uh, take a quick break, so see you next video.